Hi, I'm Bill O'Reilly. Thanks for watching us tonight. President Obama invoking executive privilege in the Fast and Furious gun scandal. That is the subject of this evening's Talking Points memo. Let's walk through this complicated situation. For years, federal law enforcement has been running sting operations in Mexico, sending American guns down there to see who's buying them and where they're being used south of the border. Unfortunately, the feds lost track of some of those guns, and one of them turned up in the killing of U.S. Border Patrol agent Brian Terry. So, Congress wants to know who is responsible for the screw-up. Attorney General Eric Holder testified that he did not know about the Fast and Furious program until very late in the game. Some doubt that. Therefore, a congressional committee has requested all Justice Department documents pertaining to the matter. Holder will not turn them over. Today, President Obama invoked executive privilege, saying he needs protection for his advisors in this case. Like presidents before him, Mr. Obama says he cannot reveal private advice. Therefore, he is ordering the Justice Department not to turn over the documents in which such advice is present. The House committee rejects that argument and says the president and the attorney general are covering up the situation. And today, that oversight committee voted to hold Eric Holder in contempt. Now, all of this will be adjudicated in the courts, which will take forever. And some believe that's the plan. Keep the Fast and Furious documents secret until after the election. Because philosophically, President Obama's constitutional play goes against what he has said in the past, specifically about President Bush invoking executive privilege. You know, there's been a tendency on the part of this administration to, to try to hide behind executive privilege every time there's something uh, a little shaky that's taking place. And I think... You know, the administration would be best served by coming clean on this. All right, Mr. Obama spoke the truth. It's always better to come clean. But that goes for you, too, Mr. President. There's no reason why you can't redact any advice given to you in private from the documents. Just black it out. Send them to me. I'll black it out for you. Mm -hmm. Congress doesn't care about advice. They care about how the sting went wrong. Who's responsible? Because an American agent was killed. The privilege deal is a ruse, and it's obvious. Release the documents, Mr. President, and redact what you think should be held confidential in your office, not in Eric Holder's office. President Obama campaigned on transparency. Remember that? This is obviously the exact opposite. Release the documents. And that's a